everyone. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. I'm Karen Griffiths and I have Simon on camera. Hello everyone. Hello and what Good a wet, morning. what a wet and miserable Friday morning, eh Simon? It's wonderful, isn't it? It's lovely. Are you going to help me with comments today? Um, that means getting my phone out, <laughs> I just thought I'd get in there quick before you all start asking questions. He's not even got his phone out. I'm you know, not got my phone out. you know what it's like. It's Friday and he's looking forward to the weekend. Was oh, this for comments? Yeah. So we've got Carol in the kitchen. Carol in the kitchen. Is she just not? at the end? She's just um, she's she's just playing around, aren't you, Carol? I am. I'm waiting for your stuff to come out. <laughs> she's not show them what you made with your. Um... Yes. I'll show them. Is it okay for you? Have you yeah, tried yeah. what you tried for that? This, I've just tried this morning, I've, uh, just while we're waiting for our audience to build up, I've just tried this morning to, I've done some macarons, but I've used semolina. And I used, and I, I sieved the semolina, the, the, court, the ground semolina, and I sieved it, and I've used that in place of the ground almonds. Now, it works, it works beautifully. It's, to me, it's a taste that has to be acquired. But I don't think it has to be I mean, acquired. It I think we're nice. just used to the almond Yeah, I think that's what it is. But I mean, it's, I a, must, different, it's a different product. It's a di but I must admit, I they've think come good, they? they've come out brilliant. And I think uh, decorated with some uh, buttercream or Swiss meringue buttercream. Yeah, you're onto yeah. a winner. If you can't have coconut or you can't have um, well, ground almonds. Chocolate ganache would be nice as well. <gasps> chocolate ganache would be lovely in there. Yeah. Oh, now she's yeah. got me thinking. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. what you can play well, with. Of course, it does, does contain wheat. For those of you. <laughs> well, you, you, you just popped up there, didn't you? <laughs> just to remind everybody. For those who've got a nut allergy, you can use herbs, but if you've got a wheat allergy, you can't. You can't. If you've got a nut and a wheat allergy, you, you, you've you got just to go with the coconut. Go you? with the coconut. And I am going to try coconut. that this afternoon. I've actually managed to get hold of some desiccated coconut, I've blitzed it, and then I've sieved it through this sieve to make it really, really fine. So I'm going to have a go at making the macarons with the, uh, the, co the ground coconut to serve. Uh, as a different uh, product to ground almonds. Yeah, we're playing in the kitchen today. Oh, we're having fun. So today I'm going to make um, chocolate no-bake cheesecake. Now I've made a chocolate milkshake one already so that I can decorate it for you, but live I'm going to make you a Jaffa twist one because I also want to decorate that for you so that you can see two different decorated cheesecakes as just ideas for you if you're having a, anything, anybody over for tea or you want to just show something fancy. So I'll just show you the chocolate cheesecake I've got in the fridge at the moment that's just been chilling. What? Don't forget your cameras. Karen's asking me to look for the, the feed, so... Um, what are you looking for? Oh, feed, but it's difficult because I'll I have to... Um, so this is, this is the chocolate milkshake one I've made earlier. And I'm going to give you the, the full recipes are on the website, but I am going to do the recipes as I go through because I'm going to make a lovely Jaffa Twist one with the orange zest cream. On this top of this one, I'm actually making a mil uh, sorry a dark chocolate water ganache, and we're going to decorate it with um, chocolate milkshake flavored cream, and then drizzle it with water ganache drip. So I'm first going to show you. Water ganache, you don't well, you? yeah, but I'm going to first show you how to make your ganache. Uh, I'll put this back in the fridge now. And it's draw day today, everybody. Lots of surprises. So we make the water ganache first because that can be set to one side cooling uh, while I make you the uh, Jaffa Twist cheesecake. That is beautiful. 170 grams of the dark chocolate calibo going into my double boiler. Can you get into the uh, double boiler, please, Simon? Thank you. We're there. We're there. So I did have the water on heated up because I didn't want to take too long with you. So it's just starting to melt lovely now. Jackie Adams says she's just gained half a stone listening to all this. <laughs> So, yeah, nice audience this morning, Carrie. Karen got a very good audience. You know what killed me before? What? I had to break the Terry's chocolate orange up, and you know, like you want to pop a piece in your mouth? Yeah. I didn't, and I left it there, <laughs> and I'm like that. And I just keep looking at it thinking, oh, chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't let me see it. <laughs> There's the middle bit, you know, the stalk, you always, the, the, stalk, the cook's tree. I can't have that bit, I think of it, Simon. <laughs> The cook's treat, the stalk of the Terry chocolate orange that you don't use. Oh, you don't use? What do you mean? Yeah, why don't you use that bit? That bit? 
for eating. Oh yeah, it's for eating. Can't you just throw it in? No, because it's de- de- the terry shuffle oranges for decorating. Yeah. Okay, you could just throw that in what you're doing now. Oh you? no, 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 because it's going to change the flavour of my ganache. I sort the problem out here. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Cheers. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Things you do. I know. You see that? What I do for this company? I know. You drown up your back there, and you, you don't you don't half save as you know. Yeah. So that's just melting nice. Now don't over melt it. We just want to make sure that all the calabos have um, melted, and then I'm going to add. 43 mils of warm water. Put a tea towel. So this is what I'm using. I'm using the 811. Oops, I'm just going that way. That I'm way. Yeah, I'm using the 811 uh, Calibo dark chocolate. And they're absolutely beautiful. So I'll put that one there. We're nearly there now with this melted chocolate. bring it off the heat to make sure it's gone down because to use as a to use for piping to use as a, like on a drip cake or to use over my cheesecake it has to go down to 90 degrees if you want to use it as a frosting you must let it cool completely and it goes to a lovely if you want to use it as a frosting it does go to a, a peanut butter type consistency and that's when you know that it's fine for using as a frosting then Right, that's melted. So into the bowl, I'm just going to pour 43 mils of warm water. And it's just a case of just combining all of it. As you can see, it doesn't seize the chocolate, which I once thought it would. Just have to really give it a good mix. And scrape all the sides down. And there you have a lovely, you see that on there, a lovely water ganache. You could just see that on the overhead, please, Simon. There you go. You can see it's quite thick, but that it is still it's still warm. So I'm going to let that cool down now to uh, just about 90 degrees, and I can pop it in a piping bag. I'll just snip the edge off, and then I'll decorate with it in a moment. Have you made the cheesecake? I've made one cheesecake. I'm making another one now. Uh-huh. This is for the one that's. Uh, this is for the one I've already made. And then I'm, I'm going to, while I'm decorating that one, the uh, Jaffa Twist is going in the fridge. And then we're going to decorate that one as well. Super. I'm going to leave this bowl to one side. Um, I'm just looking for something to put it on. And is it me doing questions, Car- Carol? Uh, you can answer them. I'm just getting the. I'm just getting the uh, drawers together. Would it be the same amount of water for milk chocolate? No, I don't think it is. Now, I've got the uh, recipe off the Sugar Geeks website and it gives me um, the amounts for white chocolate and for dark chocolate. I haven't done it with milk chocolate. I I must admit, when I did milk chocolate at home, I used the same amount as I would do for white chocolate, but Google it. And I'll also, will look for it because I'll put all the three recipes on the website for white, for milk and for dark. But I'll have to find out the correct uh, quantities for you. Let's make cheesecake. Just get my butter out of the fridge. to melt 120 grams of butter. Now butter is better because it's going to make a lovely rich base for you to go with your digestives. Now one thing I have tried with the chocolate milkshake cheesecake which you'll see when I take it out of the fridge in a bit to decorate and I'll put it on a serving plate. I actually experimented and I used chocolate digestives to see what it would be like and it's made a lovely rich chocolate biscuit base.
So 120 grams of butter. microwave just to place it down and then I'll come back and while it's going and we'll do the biscuits. Now the easiest way to do the biscuits, I've put 12 digestive biscuits you can use ginger nuts. If you're using ginger nuts, you'd have to use a few more because ginger nuts are smaller than the digestives. So with ginger nuts, I think I used about 16 when I did a ginger nut base at home. So the digestives, and all you want to do is roll in pin. And you just take it the lumps out and you're making them into a lovely ground biscuit. It's great doing it in a Ziploc bag because there's no bits get anywhere and you, you don't get biscuit all over your worktop. nearly there now. So into a, a bowl and that's 12 digestive biscuits. So don't throw your bags away, you can wipe them out and you can use them for your biscuits next time as well. to melt, it never wants yeah. to melt. I've done all the drawers now. I think I've pressed it twice in error, Carol. Oh. So what I have done, I've just lined an 8 inch sandwich tin, just so it's a loose bottom one because it'll come out much easier, your cheesecake. It is better to use a loose bottom one because you can get your cheesecake out much easier. If you're going to do it with a sealed one, then I would line your whole bait. I'd line the whole of it with the sides and everything with grease proof so you can lift it out okay. Bull Baker Paul said he made one with Oreo biscuits with the filling left in. Oh, did it? Oh, I bet that was, yeah. So he, he put yeah. the, he put them all, oh, I bet that was really nice. Yeah. Ginger nuts is nice. Ginger nuts is beautiful. Yeah. I did the ginger nuts ones when I did a sticky toffee one at home. There's also other biscuits. To be fair, any good hard biscuit yes. is actually nice. There's another biscuit I'm just thinking now, like golden crunch and stuff like that. Absolutely. It, like you said, the hard biscuits, only, as long as you've, um, you get them down to fine breadcrumbs. Yeah. You can even leave them a bit chunky if you want, but it is better with the fine, with, if you get them down as fine as you can, so that you, when the butter goes in, you get a lovely... Just wait for that, because once we've put that in, and then once I've mixed the butter into this, I'll put it into the base, and then this will go into the fridge to chill while I'm making the cheese cup, cheesecake mixture. This is red hot. Right, thank yes, you. Yes, Irene. Um, once lockdown is over, well, as always, these videos will be available on Facebook and YouTube for... For all, to, for for all time. For all time, for everyone to see. Mm. For free, yes. Did you get your birds out there, Simon? You should have done that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I was trying to think whether, you know, whether this, whether, whether we're stretching, stretching things by saying for all time. Well, I remember once we're dead and gone, nobody would be interested. <laughs> for infinity. As long as the internet is around, yes. 
So as you can see, the 120 grams of melted butter has soaked into the uh, digestive biscuits beautifully. All I'm going to do, straight into my lined 8 inch sandwich tin. And then just press down. I'm just going to make an even base. I don't want mine to go up the sides. I like mine to be a very flat base. And then I've just got cheesecake on the sides. Some people might want to put a bit of a, a lip on it or a, a side. If you want to do sides, I would suggest doing some more uh, some more biscuits. Listen to this. Carol Allen says, she's even got her husband watching now, just so he can say, well, or Carol or Karen did do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using the back of a, a metal spoon now, just to push it down into the tin. I'm just making sure that it's even. I don't want someone to get a bigger base than, than me. Mm, we need to have a look at making a vegan cheesecake, Karen. Yeah, absolutely. So like, Geraldine Crispy, to be fair, God bless her, she is um, vegan and her daughters are. And um, she's always struggling with vegan recipes. I think we should start looking at a few of them, shouldn't we? Absolutely. We should see what we can do on the vegan side. Yeah, we'll start. I'll start. We'll start. Um, I'll start having a good old nosy on the old on tintinet. Yeah, tintinet. <laughs> on tintinet. Right there we go. I'll just keep chasing, chasing that tin around the oh. screen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sam. I'm making you work on a Friday. There we go. There, there we go. <laughs> Stop moving it. <laughs> <laughs> my biscuit base is all lovely and level. I've just got it He's on right, the. You, know, you have moved it all over. I'm just as bad. I think it's because I was doing it with a spoon. And yeah, it was. I, I'm, yeah, I'm going to pop this in the fridge now while I make the cheesecake mixture, just so it can cool down and harden up. All our customers' heads are spinning. <laughs> you're moving it, and I'm moving it back, and you're moving it again. They'll all need to lie down after that. <laughs> Right, here comes the exciting part. Let's make the cheesecake. Annette says that's lovely, nice packing of the biscuit base. I think a good, a good packing on your biscuit base, it means when you cut into it later, at least you're not going to leave crumbs behind, you get a nice slice on your plate. So uh, Jodie Gibbon says she would love it if you did some vegan recipes because they're on a dairy and soya free diet because she's breastfeeding her baby who has allergens too. Well then we will definitely, definitely, for all you vegans out there, we're going to start looking at some vegan yeah, recipes because I'm sure they're as delicious as the normal recipes. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to start looking at vegans. To be fair, I know a lovely lady who actually has a full recipe thing for vegans. Her, her brother is a chef. So I'll contact her after yeah. and we'll see what we can do. Absolutely. And we'll start doing some vegan recipes live. It'll be brilliant, that. Vanessa loves, lo loves the double screen and she's getting dizzy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm blaming Simon. And, Jerry, and Geraldine has the whole family who's vegan, even her husband. Even her husband? Yeah. <laughs> right, you can see the... Right. In my bowls here, I have... Nikki King, says she Nikki King says she doesn't know about whipping it up. She's calling it spinning it up. Spinning it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my bowl here, I've got 200 mils of double cream. 200 mils of double cream. I've got 300 grams of cream cheese. <laughs> and I've got 100 grams of uh, Jaffa Twist natural flavoured sugar, icing sugar that we sell. And it's absolutely beautiful, that one. Do you know what, Karen? There's so many people on here who are vegan. I think we should spend a bit of time doing vegan recipes for the next couple of weeks. Are you I going don't to go with my free from idea, Pardon? Carol? Going to do what? You're going to go with my free from idea. Oh, here he is with his another clever idea. With his free from Friday's idea. Yeah. <laughs> he did say this, though, didn't he? Yeah. Right at the start, we should do free from. Yeah, only because he wanted it. Yeah, well, but we've got it looks like a lot of customers want it as well. well. So I think we should do that. Absolutely. Linda Miles says her husband always says, are you watching Carol again and how much is it going to cost him this week? <laughs> <laughs> oh, keto. Oh, keto diet. Karen's on a keto diet. Maybe she can look at something. <laughs> there ain't a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Believe you me, I'm weak too. There's not a lot. 
Well, we'll have a look. No, Sandra, we never said this recipe was vegan. We never said no. this recipe was for vegans. We're talking about we'll do some vegan recipes. We're yeah. putting cream in. So this we, we didn't say today's live was for vegans. We just said that we'll do some vegan recipes. Yeah, yeah not with. I've got double cream in there, 200 ml. I've got 300 gram of cream cheese. <laughs> and I've got 100 gram of Jaffa Twist flavoured icing sugar. And uh, don't forget the butter. Yeah. Well, that was in the base. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So turn that on. Now the idea with this um, this mix is get it as thick as you can. It sets the, it sets quicker. So I'm just going to gently start it off. As you can see, it's a lovely chocolate colour, and that's you can smell the orange now. The Jaffa Twist is beautiful. Yeah, he's, he's getting the thumbs up for being the idea, man. He is a clever one, isn't he? I know, but you tell him, you tell him that, and you have to open the double doors to get him out. That's what happens to me. You go to secretary, Martin, and go to the university. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. That's why you get so close to the world. Yeah. So I'm just mixing this up now. I'm checking out those graphs to pick your graphs. Yeah, and lettuce leaf base. Lettuce leaf. <laughs> so I'm mixing this up now. I'm just going to give it a stir around the sides. As you can see, it's a lovely thick mixture. Just going to make sure I've got all the bits of loose icing sugar and, I, and um, cream. And I'll just get another quick mix because that is practically done now. See how quick it is to do this. And just give it another nice glass. And there we have a gorgeous Jaffa Twist cheesecake filling. I have done. Ah. <laughs> I have done. I've done two. Jaffa milkshake. No, I've done a chocolate milkshake and a Jaffa. I'm showing sure how to make oh, Jaffa right. Twist, but I've made a chocolate milkshake, so I'm going to show them how to decorate mm. it. I see. Okay. And I'm going to decorate this one because I'm going to chill this one while I decorate the one. That's fine. Karen, carry on. You're. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're going to have to go shopping, Karen, because Kerry Sarson says if you look in the chilled aisles in the supermarket, they have lots of choices for vegans like creams and etc. So I think we should uh, go and do a bit of shopping. Think me and you should. Have, think me and you should have a shopping day. I've only, well, like shopping I only mentioned that three months ago. It's I like, know you did. I know you did. You did, Simon. Simon, stop looking for praise. It doesn't suit you. Yeah. No, I'm just looking for something to listen to me occasionally. <laughs> Yeah, Geraldine says they do have vegan cream cheese. She's not seen any uh, double cream yet, though. Well, you know what? We're going to search. And I've just got my palette knife. Right, I'm going... Uh, right, Simon, am I all right here? Right, so, well, yes. Well, I'm going to be there. And well, I'm, do I'm you not, want me to move it? No, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to move this. I'm not even touching the tin. How's so that? You're off camera, there. so he needs to move you. So. There you go. I've moved it, so don't yeah. you move it again. No, I'm leaving it there. And I'm just gently, just making sure it gets to all the sides. Now, usually I'd spin the tin, but I'm not having you lovely lot at home go dizzy again. I can spin the tin if you like. <laughs> oh, you and your new toy. You're just loving it, aren't you? Yes, Jackie, Simon's right again. He does come up with some good ideas. In fairness, we do listen to him. We just don't always... Uh, I'm not that. often wrong, Carol, on no. a night again. Oh, God, freaking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not often wrong. <laughs> do you know those double doors? Come and make them into bifold doors because he's not going to get out through them either. <laughs> yeah, the filling is amazing. If any of you have not made the um, cheesecake yet with the chocolate flavoured icing sugars, you're really missing out because they're delicious. In fact, all the ice and sugars in a cheesecake are delicious. This, uh, oh, they really are. The key lime one is a beautiful one. Oh, yeah. And there's all of them. <laughs> in fact, my none of my kids like cheesecake until I've made this one. And yeah. they absolutely love this cheesecake yeah. now. It's just something they love. I'm going to pop this into the fridge so it starts setting. It doesn't take long, but I just want to put some, want to put some cream speed on, freeze on it. it in the, uh, speed freeze it in the freezer. I think I will. 
Yes, Jackie, I have to agree with you. Typical man comment. <laughs> right, I'm just going to swap mixes because I need to. Can make... you do that job? You do some drawers. Yeah, because I just want to uh, put prices. this mixer in. in yeah. We need a couple of bowls, you see. Okay. No oh, here comes the boss. Quick clean up. Carol. <laughs> just move this wash out of the way. There we go. Right, so it's Draw Friday today, so I've come in, so I've just done a whole list of them, so I get them right. So I'll do as many as I can, then I'll come back and do the rest. So going back to last Friday, we had the little Rolly Comp, and the little Rolly Competition was like and share on our page. Let me just go and find it, and then we'll announce the winner. We'll do, uh, just takes a few minutes to do more, so if I do a few now, and we'll do some later, that'd be great. Who's not made cheesecake with our flavoured icing sugars? Because they're absolutely delicious. Let me know if you've not made them. And so simple. And the good thing is about making them, here's the competition. The good thing is about making them is that if you've got friends coming around, it's a really quick dessert. And did you hear me say freeze feed it? So um, you just pop it in the freezer for an hour, then take it out. Right, so let me just load up all the uh, people. So this is for the little rolly for the full set. It's the handle, six rollies. Just takes a minute just to load everything up. So I like doing the drawers on a Friday, get them all over and done with. We know where we are. I think we were making ourselves dizzy before. And we don't miss any No, there was that many there's that many lives that's going on. We were completely I don't know where we were. So I think if we do this every Friday, it's much better. Perfect. Something's missing. What's missing? My fruit. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Can I sit the kettle on while Carol's you can. faffing about? He loves that I'm word, faffing around. He loves that word, Carol. Yes, I do. I'm not mean it. I don't actually right. mean it. So the first winner is Joanne Fulton. Okay, so Joanne Fulton, you've actually won the little rolly and the refills. Um, I'm actually going to put two out for two winners, so we'll just do it all again. So Joanne Fulton, can you just write writing these down? No. Um, I'll do it. Right. Joanne, Joanne Fulton, congratulations. So what does she need to do, Carol? Right, I'll tell you in a minute. Jean bowls over. Now, oh, that's funny because she's uh, oh she shared it in relax chat and win. So Jean bowls over. Congratulations. Don't know any of those ladies. Jean bowls <laughs> over. <laughs> Nikki says I'm pushing my luck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are, Simon. I think it's in so, the uh, job description, that isn't it? That's right. And then the next one was Karen doing um, the macaroons. Okay, I was about to say macarons, but the macaroons. <laughs> So let's just get these loaded up. So congratulations to those two ladies. I've wrote them down. So that's Joanne Fulton and Jean Ballsover. Okay. Sophie Fletcher, she's the next winner. So she's won from the macaroons. So what did we say the prize was? It was, three, we just, it was three bags of uh, whipping up because I made yeah. it. I think what we'll do on the day ones, we'll do six bags of uh, flavoured ice and sugar, yeah. okay? Or three bags of whipping it up. Right. So yeah. Sophie Fletcher, Sophie, let's see, make sure I spell it right. Sophie Fletcher, congratulations. Fletcher. So six bags of sugar or three whipping it up. Favorite. Okay, so Saturday we had a drawer on. Now, what was we doing on Saturday? Why was we doing a live on Saturday? Did John do a post on Saturday? Saturday was just a. Uh, oh, he's done a little post, hasn't he? Right. Okay. So this is for a bundle of um, seven whipping it up. So let's just go from there. Does anybody know any of these people? I think I know Sophie Fletcher. Yeah, I, I recognise yeah. Sophie's name. I do. Don't know any of the other ladies. Does anybody know the other ladies? <clears throat> so um, I'm having a hot flush, Simon. Do you want to just open the door, love? Sorry, I've just got to keep rolling them up. They take a little while to bounce up. 
When I say bounce up, they don't load up all together, so you just have to... Vanessa and Dean, okay? So Vanessa and Dean, you've won seven bags of Whipping It Up. So Vanessa and Dean. Right, Monday, the Russian cake. So when do you need to get back on here, Karen? Are you all right? We keep doing these. Absolutely fine. Let's do the draws. Do the Russian cake. That Russian cake was amazing. John said, um, yeah, go and you can make yourself a brew. So John said um, he just wants to know if it, it's not that he has permission to make a brew. He can make a brew whenever he wants. <laughs> it's when he can abandon the camera. <laughs> so um, coconut flavoured sp uh, sponge filled with creme pâtissier. Is that how, how do you say it? Creme pâtissier. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good. So John said that was amazing. He loved it. He came home. He said, "He said who made that cake? Okay, went Karen did. So it was just gorgeous. So I don't know much yet." Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it would help if Simon put it on YouTube for everybody else to watch. Have you loaded it onto YouTube yet? No, it hasn't. It's been cheaply made there, but I'm just going to write it down now, YouTube, to remind him. Reader's uh, got a suggestion for your hot flushes. Who? Reader Arnold. I'm fed up of taking tablets, honestly. You want to well, see how many tablets I take? Boots magnet in your underwear. <laughs> try what? Boots magnet in your underwear. What magnet? A boots magnet in your underwear. A boots magnet? Yeah, in your underwear. How on earth did you come up with that one? <laughs> eh? Sticking a magnet in my knickers. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> I, to, I had to read it twice. <laughs> Can you imagine what John would think, eh? <laughs> Just a minute, love, let me get this out. <laughs> yeah, security at the airport. <laughs> what some people get up to isn't it oh. right Karen Payne Karen so Karen Payne for oh. Karen's uh, Russian cake so that is six bags of flavoured ice and sugar or three bags of whipping it up yeah so uh, six bags of sugar three whipping it up and then we've got mine and I'll tell you what you you have to do all you've got to do is email info info dot sugar and crumbs which is and a n d at iCloud.com. So info dot sugar and crumbs at iCloud.com. So all winners do that. I'll send an email through to Laura. Forget to send her an email. She goes mad, you know. She <laughs> messages me and then says, do you, Would you like to bother telling me who's won anything? And she has everybody saying, Oh, I've won this, I've won this, and she has no idea. So where am I on to now? Monday night, macrons. Now I did macrons on Monday night. And to be fair, it's the first time I had a go at doing macarons. If you watched the live last night, it was the first time I've had a go at doing the macarons with the whipping it up. And I was actually really uh, chuffed with them. They taste amazing. But I just felt that the alm almonds was a bit bitty. And to be fair, I haven't got a blitzer. Can you believe it? Everything I've got in this kitchen, I haven't got a blitzer for um, grinding them down a bit more. So we just put them through the sieve once. But I also thought they were a bit thick as well. Uh, Simon ate them all, absolutely loved them. So did I like them. I ate more than my fair share. And that were at work, they just loved them. So um, last night I did the live again and reduced it by uh, reduced it by 35 grams. And I think it's far better. So, um, but we're still playing. So, so let me do this one. Though, Adam, it's a real thing. You've got a lot of ladies say it's from boots, and, and please get one. It really does work. The lady magnet. It's Is that what it's magnet. called? Yes. Have well, you heard I'm of it? Nothing. I'm nothing. <laughs> Have you heard of it, Simon? No. Well, I'm a few people going say it's off game one. They say dogs on a metal chair. <laughs> dogs get on a metal chair. <laughs> How big is it? It actually stitches into your knicks. Oh, you stitch, stitch into your knickers? Into your knicks, yeah. Well, that means I'd have to. What happens when it goes in the washing machine? You wear the same. What? Yeah, I don't wear the same knickers, me. I like to change them every day. <laughs> so, Monday night, just I'm just trying to find the live. Just one second, it's pinned to the top of the page. Um, I've never heard of it at all. But you know what? After this, I'll go and Google. Well, Debbie's Googled it. She said it's a thing. I'm going to Google it as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be scared of walking past you, Karen. In case we become attached. I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going off topic here. It's not cake related. <laughs> There's loads of metal things in here. I could get stuck to the mixer or anything. Oh, we're embarrassing Simon now. <laughs> <laughs> John, I wonder what the hell we're freaking going on about. We found something. 
Now to keep right, new one here. Oh, it's Carol Tucker. Crikey, she'll be, she'll be over the moon. Oh, Carol Tucker. Is she watching as well? Carol Tucker from Monday Nights Live. You've just won seven bags of Whipping It Up. So Ooh. you'll be well chuffed. I know you will because I was talking to you about the Whipping It Up last night. So how lucky is that? So that's Carol Tucker. I, only, I think I only know two ladies who's won today. Carol Tucker. Then we've got Danielle Crouch. You may as well get it out of the way. You may as well get them all done and get up to speed, haven't we? Absolutely. So let me find Danielle's competition. Carol's not commented yet, but she's probably still dancing around the front room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a funny conversation with Carol last night over macaroons and macarons. She just couldn't get it. I had to, in the end, I had to send pictures. Yeah, just let me keep loading these up because they're not loaded up yet. Wait till you get it last night. <laughs> I, I, had, I had nearly 400 chairs last night. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry, they're just loading up still. Just hold on. Well, you give me cheesecake times to chill anyway, so that's great. Well, that's it. It's not loading up anymore then. Kerry Jones Addis. So Kerry Jones Addis. So that was for Danielle. So Kerry, you can add over £25 voucher or seven bags of whipping it up. So Kerry Jones Addis. Okay, and then we've got Thursdays Live. Oh, that was last night, Thursday, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Right, okay. Four sets of whipping it up, Carol. Yes, four sets. Four, four sets. sets. So four, four sets or 25 ouches. So that's going to be good, isn't it? We'll do four prizes. How fabulous is that? So, um... Are you going to draw it four times or are you just going to pick a spot and then pick the four closest? No. What do you think we should do? Down. No, I think you should. I think you have to whiz up and down each time. Pardon? I think you've got to pick one, then whiz it up again and pick another one. Whiz it down, pick another one. Yeah, I think so as well. Just one second. Let me find last night's live. Well, I'll tell you what, while Carol's doing last night's live, we'll make that the end of the show show. The end of the so, show show? Yeah, so Carol, if, yeah. You want to, if you want to come this way, and then what we'll do is I'll do the cream, and then you can do this last live. As ah. I, when I finish everything, you can do it. That could be your That'd be good one. You're signing off good. with your four right. prizes. Good, good, good. good. Right. So this is the chocolate milkshake cheesecake. Ooh, there we go. Chocolate so milk. there is more winners to come, people. Yeah. Absolutely. There's yeah. Four more winners. Karen wants me to crack on. She wants to crack on doing a cheesecake. Yeah, and then the, it'll be nice to end with four great winners at the end as well. Carol Tucker's just knocked a full cover over the table. She's if, you haven't, and if you haven't liked and shared already, you've still got time to do it. Yes, do share, do share today's live. Share yesterday's. Yes, share yesterday's as well. Yeah, there's last night's live. Oh no, because we're drawing last night's live. Yeah, they can still share it. Oh, you can still share it. Yeah, yeah, you can still, still share last night's yeah. live. Yeah, yeah, still got yeah chance drawn it yet. You've still got a chance to win last night's live. Yep. Seven bags of whipping it up. Yep. Who doesn't want that? Four Hang people. On. You're going to love the whipping it up. It's absolutely amazing. Right. I'm going to make my double cream decoration. I'm going to pour 300 mils of double cream into my bowl. There we go, my 300. My whisk. I'm just going to start this off slowly now. And I'm going to put in a good big spoonful. In fact, I'm going to put two spoonfuls of this chocolate milkshake flavoured icing sugar in. Now it's the same icing sugar I've made to make the cheesecake flavour. So I'm going to put this into the cream. 
So the cream's got a lovely chocolate taste as well. How's it been that? some fun comments here. Here we go. So that's just start. As soon as it starts to come uh, together, I'm going to put it in. I don't want to overbeat the cream. If you do overbeat the cream, if you've got a, um, some spare cream, you can add more and bring it back to life again. And I've just done two nice spoonfuls of the uh, chocolate milkshake flavoured icing and I'm putting that in now so it'll all thicken up together. Okay, can we confirm? Is it 300 mils of double cream? 300 mils of double cream. So 
general dog's body because that's 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 all our names. <laughs> we all have to do a bit of everything. That's the job. <laughs> Joanne says she's used the coconut in the double cream, it's amazing. Look at Chrissy Cameron. Oops, a bit. So this is the chocolate milkshake one. And what I'm gonna do now is dum dum dum. Also, if you add the flavoured cream to your plain yoghurt, it's nice. Add it to your Greek yoghurt, it really flavours that up as well, and any normal plain yoghurt. Now to get it out of the tin. And Pat, I did say 150 fam. I hate doing this bit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, I've got it. I ain't doing it again, Simon. <laughs> Not doing it again. Just What's that? If he says put it back on and do it again, no. <laughs> we missed it. Yeah, can you do it? I would just leave it straight on the metal thing. On the metal thing as well, because we're going to take it off for yeah. yeah, you're right. Did you put any um, grease proofers on there? Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I was just going to say, we're going to leave it on the metal tray just to make it easier, but if you've got grease proof under it, we have, yes. you can just slide it off. So if you want to deliver it to somebody, you don't have to give them half your pan. <laughs> <laughs> and wait for it to come back. Yeah. You can't see it now, Karen. You've well, done. I'm just going to fill my bag with chocolate good after and move it back into the centre again. Oh, okay. She's got a plan. I've got a plan. Oh, that's a shame, Sue. Sue's customer service train, but it's a long way back for her dinner. <laughs> Is that Cornwall? <laughs> for dinner lunch. She's in uh, Walsall, I think. Yeah, oh no. Well, well, done somewhere yeah. Down there. That travelling would be a bit hellish in the morning. Mm. You should all try making cheesecake though if you've not made it, seriously. Oh, absolutely. The family will absolutely love it. Everybody goes mad for it. In fact, all the desserts that we show you to make, seriously, they really are nice. You should give them a go. Watch that, don't go in the bowl. So I've snipped off the smallest amount I could at the top of the piping bag. And I'm just going to give it a drizzle um, and Should then put that on the overhead camera. Yep, we all right there. Just have a look on your camera. Yep, I'm waiting for Simon. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, no, you need to push it over a little bit, please. I see why he has to push it because you're in the screen. I've well. just, I just realised that yeah. when I looked at him. Because I always think what was centre. It's nice that with the idea of the chocolate ganache over, isn't it? Really yeah. chocolatey. There we go. Now, I've, I've got some chocolate ganache left there, but again, it wouldn't go to waste because I will try it in the macaroons. If I had chocolate left over, you can actually put it in a little bag and put it in your cupboard. And when you come to want to use it again, you just melt it in the microwave. With it being water-based, it doesn't go off. It's just chocolate and water. So put it, once it's gone cold, into a Ziploc bag, straight into your cupboard. Yeah, you can save it, can't you? Yeah. So that one is the first one, and that is the chocolate milkshake Looks great. That no color. bake cheesecake. Yeah, they all love that one. Absolutely super duper. So I'm going to put this straight into the fridge because it's a bit uh, bit warm in here, and then I'll bring them both out when I've done the uh, Jaffa Twist one. And let's say I've got a great crowd on a Friday morning, 250 plus. Oh, thank you, ladies. Right, you get. Yeah, the chocolate chip. They, all the cheesecakes. Seriously, give them a go. That they, they go down so well, and they, they take minutes to make. I'm going to try and use it out. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to caress the tin a bit to warm it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's been in the it was so you, did, you, did you listen to what I said? It was a quick freeze when you put it in the freezer. It is a quick freeze, but yeah, yeah. then you took your time doing your drawers. Well, you, <laughs> you did a quick freeze, then you still left it in there. Yeah, so it, it does, it, does um, it, it will defrost pretty quick, but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make some gorgeous, and I've decided, because that's a lovely Jaffa twist, cheesecake i'm gonna do a lovely orange zest oh are you yes all oh, right great you're making another one no, another I'm, cheesecake or i'm, just I'm the definitely finish it off it don't know how it works wow. simon can you use water 
butter ganache to cover a cake? Yes, you can. So this is a 300 mils. Do you want to tell them to repeat the recipe? I certainly will. Because we've got Shirley Everett missed the uh, recipe for yeah. the water. Is the recipe on our website? Not yet. No, we must put that on. Yeah, it's actually. a. I've used the dark chocolate calibo today, the Belgium chocolate. Um, it's 170 grams of the calibo chocolates, and then once that's been melted and you've got it all nice and smooth, don't overheat it. Add 43 grams of warm water. Mix it through. Just keep mixing it. And it comes to a lovely. Um, just like that, it comes to a. It comes to a lovely paste, as it, as you can see. So that is still a little bit warm now. But it, um, if, if I left it going really cold, it would uh, frost the cake and fill the cake beautifully. As it is, it's perfect drip consistency for a drip cake at the moment as well. So if you want to do a lovely drip cake with it, it's perfect consistency yeah, at just below say, 90 can, degrees. That's it. you can drip with it, can't yes. you? Yes. can do everything with it. I'll get Karen to put it on the recipe website afterwards. We'll just call it water ganache and then you know what you're looking for. Oh, Joanna's used the mermaid flavour in the cheesecake, and mermaid flavour is delicious because that's um, blueberries and white chocolate, oh, that's which is awesome. delicious. Yeah, that's, she said, she said it was amazing. amazing, and she doesn't like cheesecake normally. I knew I'd forgotten to do something. I never weighed out the other cream cheese. Well, oh. I, I, I thought, where's the other cream cheese? But I've not weighed it out. Why are you making another cream cheese? Because I'm, no, I'm not making cream cheese. Thank you, Carol. Thank you for stopping oh, no, me. Why are you doing? Uh, Whipping double cream up. I nearly made another. You're all right. You nearly got another cheesecake there. Well, that's what I was going. I was going. Well, I was going mad. I don't. I don't. I bet you'll get those matches for you. Oh, I don't so again, what I'm going to do again now is just whip this up so it just starts to form, and then we'll put a good couple of spoonfuls of the orange zest, natural flavoured icing sugar in it, and that'll be a lovely orange flavoured. Uh, orange flavoured cream and then we have the perfect decoration to go with Jaffa Twist is Terry's chocolate orange segments. Mm -hmm. If you haven't tried our orange flavoured icing sugar, we've never used it on our life. You know this is the first time we've used it on our life. Is it really? Yeah, we use Jaffa Twist but we've never used orange zest. Now somebody asked me yesterday what's the difference between orange zest and Jaffa Twist. Orange zest is white in colour and it's icing sugar and the Jaffa Twist is icing sugar but it's brown in colour. Chocolate orange is cocoa powder, which you can make buttercream with, and you can make lots of other things that read on the back that it's mainly for baking. Yes. Now, is it just a twist that you got chocolate in it then? Got cocoa powder. Got cocoa powder. This is just a twist there is the cheesecake, and that's a nice brown. And you'll see when I make the cream in a moment, the look for the orange zest and the lovely white one. It's ice and sugar with, with cocoa powder. Yeah. Okay. Just to clear that up for everybody. Yeah, orange zest is delicious. It's a flavour that not everybody goes to. It's not the most popular flavour. I actually, I, I actually love it. I've done a chocolate orange cake at home, uh, and I did the chocolate orange cake, but I also then filled it with orange zest, and it's absolutely amazing. Very fresh. I'm just going to see if it just started to form to a thicker substance, so I'm just going to put in a nice, good two spoonfuls of the orange zest icing sugar. There we go. And then we're going to whip this up now. Oh, that's amazing. You can't hear me, Simon. So they said we need a microphone pointed in this direction. They can't hear me very well. I can't believe that, it with my voice box. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> he's, he's at it again, Carol. I'm just going to get a spatula. I'm just going to scrape down the sides now, just to make sure that all the loose ice and sugar has been incorporated into the cream. You can turn you up if you like, Carol. There you go. Thank you. Oops. Did what you did there, Carol. I turned it on, but luckily it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> and there we go. We've got a lovely cream there. I've got my bag, I'm going to put my one, <laughs> I'm going to put my one in, so I don't forget my tube this time, there we go, because all you lovely lot saw me forget the tube. Right, capesicles, people keep asking about capesicles. 
So we'll have a look at cakes he calls. Are they those ice, are they those cakey lolly things? Yeah. We don't sell the molds for cakes he calls though, so you'll have to get those yourself. I think you can get them on um, Amazon. I think you can get anything on Amazon, can't you? Yeah, you can get anything from Amazon. Except maybe a lady magnet. <laughs> Probably can't get a lady magnet. <laughs> what am I looking for? Is that what they're called? Lady magnets? I'm just going to fill up my piping bag. I've put my 1M in. Oh, I've Can you melt the chocolate in the microwave? Yes, you can. Yeah, just be careful you don't over melt it because it can, it can uh, take on a, a burnt taste very quickly. The only reason I don't do it in the microwave on the live is because I, I don't want to spend all my time at the microwave trying to shout down the kitchen to you. Yeah. If you're making the macarons today, use last night's recipe. It's now on the website. No, the chocolate didn't season with the water. Rasky, raskier. Thank you. No, it doesn't seize. As you can see, it's lovely and white. Karen, do you prefer water ganache? It was easy to make and I, I have used handy. it on a cake, yes. Yeah. I think it's handy if you've got no cream in. I yes. prefer, I've got to be honest, I prefer the ganache with cream. I've not made it easy with cream. Yeah, well I prefer it with cream, but I think with if you've got, no, if you've got chocolate in you, you've got to make a ganache, you know what, there you go, you've done. If you need to make an emergency ganache. <laughs> yeah, you've got water, you can do it. Well, that's why I did make it because it was my son's birthday, wasn't it? And it was an yeah. emergency. I had no cream in, and I just I, I googled it, and I thought, oh, and I'd seen somebody mention it on the page, and I thought, well, you know what? Let's have a look at it. Yeah. Is there a difference in taste in the water ganache? There is, it's not as creamy, I don't yeah. think. It's not as creamy as the normal ganache. Yeah. I don't, it's not a bad taste, it actually nope. tastes nice. It does taste nice, the water ganache, but I do prefer it when it's got the cream in. The water ganache will last, it will last for a long time because it would like the cream. Like the cream, all you've got to do is put it in a Ziploc bag. Once it's cooked, it's cooked and it's absolutely fine. Just pop it in a Ziploc bag, let it go hard, and then you can bring it back and remelt it. Yes. Now let's see if we can take this out of this tin. Yeah, there we go. See? It's been out of the freezer five minutes and it's absolutely fine. Put that on there. So I just want to say hello to Lily Sue. She's 12 and she's laughing at us all. Hi, Lily Sue. I'm not surprised, Lily Sue. Hi. <laughs> so it's Sue Richmond's granddaughter. She's watching with her today. I know some of you have mentioned your um, parcels. We, we stopped the next day deliveries due to COVID-19, mainly because the couriers are under that much stress. We've just opened up a priority picking, so when you order now, you can go. You can you can actually place for a priority picking. Basically, it means we're going to get it out to you as fast as we can. You're going to jump to the top of the queue. We're going to get it out to you as fast as we can. And um, we just don't want to say next day in case it doesn't arrive next day. Highly likely it will, but if it doesn't, we don't want the stress. So we're going to call it a priority picking, and that's back on the website. So there we have. Mm, fantastic. Karen. A Java. Karen moving it off the side. I'm not yeah. getting. I'm going to get another one. Well, can leave it in the middle so we can see it for now. I see spare chocolate, Karen. I'm afraid so. And there's there's uh, <laughs> yeah. And there's one there with a bit of a what's a cream on it. Thank well. you. <laughs> Do you need another uh, cake stand? Nope. Oh, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Well done, Karen. They look fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So we've got chocolate milkshake, cheesecake, no bake, and we've got 
It's um, a chocolate orange cheesecake with a lovely orange zest flavoured cream. It's Chaffer Twist. It is, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I don't want them to get confused oh, with yeah, chocolate orange because so we do the cocoa yeah. powder. Jaffa Twist, which it's, it just complements the Terry chocolate orange lovely, but the Jaffa Twist is, please try it with the Jaffa Twist and please try it with a chocolate milkshake. Mm. In fact, like Carol said, every single one of the rest of our the ice and sugars makes a wonderful cheesecake. They're great, aren't they? They look fantastic, Karen. Well done. Thank you. Everybody is liking that. Yep, yeah, lots of love to go in your way. Yep, yeah, they look amazing. They do, they look fantastic. Very easy, quick dessert. Absolutely. Well can I leave them there while you do your last draw? Yeah. I'll just push them up a little bit so Carol can... There we go. I'll move out of the way for Carol. And ladies, dum, dum, dum. So we've got four prizes for last night's live. Last night's live was great, wasn't it? All the lives are good, and it's so lovely to see you all join us all the time. So um, we've done, um, what prize have we done? So we can either have four vouchers, so there's four winners. You can either have a voucher of £25, or you can have seven bags of Whipping It Up. It's entirely up to you. Um, most people are going for the Whipping It Up, because it's a great money saver by taking that way. But entirely up to you. Let me get the live up from last night. So did you hear what I said about the priority picking? Because of COVID-19 and the couriers being under massive pressure and ourselves, we're also get, and ourselves, we're getting a lot of people phoning us and asking us, can we pull the order too? But the thing is, the time involved in that and the hassle, it's, it's creating issues. So what we've done now is we've set up a priority picking. It's gone live today. And that means if you get into it, basically it means that you can pick the priority pick in, you pay extra for it, and it means we see it on the computer before it goes into the warehouse. So that means we can get it off and we can get it onto the top of the picking list. Um, and we've got a team now that's going to look after that. And it will get packed and dispatched the same day, providing you order before half past one. Um, after half past one, well, the lads go home at two o'clock and our courier comes at quarter past two. So there's no point doing it in later because we need time to actually pick it. Um, so it'll go on to the next day then. And then hopefully the courier will get it to you next day. But because we don't want to make any promises and there's never been a guarantee from any courier in the country yet for a next day delivery. Because they always have a 98% success rate, it's just sort of seen as the norm. But, you know, we have to expect some delays. So what we're going to do now is call Called priority picking which means it'll get to you within two to three days all right then good and if you get it earlier bonus right okay then so last night's lives I think this is where we are hang on a second so we've got four winners do you want to write these down then Karen yes certainly. let me just get them all loaded up So we are still working on loads of recipes. They're all on the they're all on the recipe website. If you go to um, Sugar and Crumbs, mixing it up, and uh, do search search whipping it up, or go to the category whipping it up, and you'll see everything there. My next thing is I've got to do royal icing with you all. That's a bit scary. We've made the biscuits. <laughs> we made the biscuits with the whipping it up as well, didn't we, Karen? We did. I say we. Karen made them. <laughs> So sorry, I've got it because of uh, I've, got, I've got to keep getting them up. It takes a minute. So don't forget to like and share today's Karen's live. Can you see that the, the ganache on the cheesecake is set? So it's a lovely crunchy yes. chocolate now. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's lovely. Well done. Adele Stottard, S-T-O-T-H-A-R-D, Adele Stottard. Oh, there's loads of people we don't know, isn't there? And that's just between Trish Collins, who I do know, and Paula Brown. Sorry, girls. <laughs> so let's keep going. So that's winner number one. Tracy Scriven, actually, sorry, it's not. I'm on Helen Foster. So I'm on Helen Foster. Sorry, my finger is mainly on Helen Foster. Sorry, Tracy, but I am on Helen Foster. So Helen Foster, you're the winner. And I know Tracy as well, sorry. <laughs> Otherwise, I've been best off drawing it again. Did you not do both of them? Pardon? No, because my finger was mainly on Helen Foster. It's, I, 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 I uh, tipped it over. And I don't think Helen Foster would be happy if I moved it. Sheridan Woods, don't know that one. Sheridan Woods, congratulations. Well, that's just above Emma Gemma Bush, who we know. Oh, Gemma Bush was both sides. That was bad luck, Gemma. 
<laughs> just both sides of Sheridan. Right, okay. And the last one, ladies. It's nice to see some new winners, isn't it? Is it? Absolutely. We've had, a lot, we've had a, a, a lot of newbies joining us lately. Yeah. Oh, Tracy Skivens, they are. <laughs> so well done. There you go. How cool is that? Now I feel better about that now. That's good. She guided Tracy. Finger. She yes, guided did she finger. guide my finger? Did you guide it, Tracy? <laughs> no, you definitely won. You was just above Linda's lush cakes. <laughs> so well done, Tracy. Good. Congratulations. So congratulations, everybody. All you need to do now is go to info, email info, I N F O dot sugar and H A N D crumbs at icloud.com tell them that you're a winner i'm going to go and email the office now so they know who's winning and uh, that's it really so i want oh Thank you is so she much. great good it's lovely well done sheridan so make sure you email through um and then we'll get them in the post to you so um you can either have a 25 pound voucher or you can have seven bags of whipping it up it's entirely up to you what else was I going to say to you now? So we're back on Monday, aren't we? We yeah. have Karen in the morning. Don't know what Karen's going to make it, but I'm going to give her the challenge. I think it's something vegan. vegan. I think it's something <laughs> vegan. So she, I'll make sure she's doing something vegan for you Monday morning. And then we've got Karen Davies in the kitchen on Monday night. We haven't seen Karen Davies for such a long time with the lockdown and everything. And she's got two new super moulds. So she's got two fabulous super moulds. One's called Space space cookie and the other one is called dinosaur cookie so she's going to be showing you how to use these and they are beautiful you're going to absolutely love them and also we've got these lovely little space boxes have you seen these that hold four cupcakes so these little space boxes they're fab as well and we do have um we've got some other new boxes on actually lots of new things and then i actually want to get out and give uh, the katie sue mold to go so i want to give them a go next week and uh, we'll think of some other things with whipping it up for you all to make. So I hope you enjoyed the live. I'm going to let Karen come and say goodbye to you all now. So Monday, half past 11 with Karen. 8 o'clock with Karen Davies. Two Karens in one day. Someone just said that too. <laughs> How lucky are we? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyhow, so come on Karen. Come and say goodbye to everyone. So thanks for joining me today. Uh, please don't forget to like and share. And it was for six bags of flavoured icing sugar or three bags of whipping it up. I hope you've enjoyed these recipes and I want to see cheesecakes on the website. Yeah, so absolutely. Thank you. So, and macarons. And macarons and macarons the easy everything. way. Yeah. Macarons the easy way and we even want to see coconut pyramids, the lot. Coconut macaroons. Oh no, coconut. Oh, that's what I want to try. That's what that's been in my head. Coconut macaroons. I've got. I want to try coconut pyramids as well. Well, they're the same thing. Aren't no, they? but you put a cherry in the top. Oh, right. Yes. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining Such a us. Big that, Karen. <laughs> and I'll see you Monday morning, eleven thirty. Vegan. Vegan. <laughs> Vegan. <laughs> Cheerio. Bye.